Alright. Alright, okay, so. I'm gonna do my best to not fail this because I have this set up in a way that I've never done before where the camera is not facing me so I can't actually see it. So I had to move a bunch of things around my room and make it so that I can see slightly behind it and then I've got a mirror right in front of me so I can actually see myself. But I'm gonna be looking at you guys and maybe behind you to make sure I'm still in frame. All right, so. Oh, by the way, hi, I'm Sydney. <laughs> Don't stare at me like that. Like what? You're literally going. I'm wondering why you're filming with the sweatshirt on. I still have my pajama shirt on. <laughs> uh, okay, it's literally almost six o'clock and I still have my pajamas and wow, my eyebrow looks cute. Okay, all right. Please don't mind everything that um, is in the back. I'm still trying to figure out my background. It's just a tapestry that I have hanging up and I know that it's probably not the best thing ever and it's really wrinkly right now, but um, it's the best thing I have right now because I didn't want to have a blank white wall. Figured out something a little bit more interesting. So, today is, uh, yeah, I already did the intro. Today is my Ipsy bag. Um, so, I was actually really scared I was going to get this on time because I have been at school and I had this delivered to my house. So, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to be able to get this on time. I'm like, actually going to be able to film a video if we're not going to be able to leave school. But I ended up having to go home for an appointment, blah, blah, blah. So, I ended up actually being able to get it. So, I'm very happy. I already looked to see what was in it. So... This is the bag for this month. All right. <laughs> it's cute. It's, um, what's this? Not vel velvet? It's not velvet. It's like a ribbed, it's cute. What is this called, this fabric? I know I've definitely had a shirt like this in the past. And I'm hoping that it'll come to me eventually. But yeah, it's this cute, like, um, maroon and yellow. Um, honestly, it's really cute. <laughs> and then a little tassel, not tassel, zipper thingy. Yeah. So, we're gonna get started on this. And inside the bag, um, first is this Generation Clay. I hope that is in focus because I can't see it. Um, Generation Clay Urban Defense Purifying Pink Clay Mask. So, I haven't tried this yet, obviously. Um, it's actually a really cute, like, matte pink colored tube. Let me see if it smells at all, because that might be a yay or nay when it comes to this. Oh, it looks interesting. So, I don't know if you can see the inside of that. Probably not. It's not going to focus. Um, but it's, like, that color. <laughs> <laughs> um... It kind of just smells like soap, not gonna lie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is 0.51 fluid ounces, in case you're wondering. So I'll give that a try eventually. I will let you guys know um, in a video how I feel about that. I am so tired, but I really wanted to get this part of the video done. Um, so I'm gonna quickly use this mask for you guys. And I'm gonna see how it works. Please don't mind my hair. Um, just about to go to your bed. I'm sorry Drew is playing a game right now. So that's why you hear that clicking clicking. Um, so I'm gonna try my Generation Clay Urban Defense Purifying Pink Clay Mask. So I should really clean my skin before I do this. So I'll be right back. All right, just clean my face. So I'm going to apply an even layer to clean dry skin for up to 10 minutes. So right now it's 12.42 a.m. And I'm just gonna quickly do this so I can go to bed. This is cold. It honestly smells pretty freaking good. I like that this is not super thick. It actually blends out super nicely. It's actually already drying, which is super nice. So I'm not to be here forever. Sorry, I'm whispering. I don't want to bother Drew right now. So I'm going to come back in like 10 minutes and I'll let you guys how it goes. Let you guys know how it goes. I'm not even joking. It's been maybe a minute and a half. I've been doing this and it's already getting like white and I'm getting tight. This is cool. So I just want to get like up and close so you guys can see. It's like actually like I guess tight. 
tightening my pores. It's very hard to talk. <laughs> but it's only been on for about five minutes. All right, it is 12.50. It's been on my face for about eight minutes. Um, so I'm just gonna try to see if I can wipe it off. Is this just circular motions from wiping it off? I don't have a towel right now. I mean, they're all over there. I don't wanna get dirty right now. So I'm just gonna use my hands and hope that it works. Oh, oh my god, yes! This is the easiest mask to remove in my entire life. Did you see that? Like, it's literally gone. I'm actually really digging this mask. If it does anything for my skin, I might actually get the big one. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but I feel like my pores have like disappeared. What? <laughs> Seriously, my pore, you guys can't even see it, which sucks. Did this actually do something? I'm gonna let you guys know if I try this again, when I try soon, how um, everything seems. Nothing is hurting, nothing was burning, anything like that. It's a super nice, relaxing um, 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna try to go, I forgot to show you the card. I mean, the card doesn't really do much, doesn't tell you much. But um, this card says, good vibes, it's cute. Um, it says, this month, radiate positivity from trying a bold new hairstyle to finding a perfect fall lip color. When you embrace this season of change with an I got this attitude, the results will be out of sight. Hmm. So yeah. All right. <gasps> Did it actually tell me? Oh my god! What? Did it always tell me how much the things cost and what they were inside? What? I didn't know this. It actually tells me. I literally went searching for the prices beforehand, but it actually gives me this. I'm amazed. I don't have to do any more research. That's super nice. So, um, that Generation Clay Urban Defense Purifying Clay Mask um, says it's bursting with good for you ingredients like kadu plum, vitamin A, and vitamin E. This mask is the ultimate recipe for skin that glows. It helps stimulate collagen, reduce hyperpigmentation, deep clean pores, re smooth redness, and protect your skin from harsh environmental aggressors. Hmm. All right. So the next product in the bag is, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this is the Jaunta Blue Felt Tip Eyeliner pen Pencil. I don't think this is a pencil. I think it's a felt tip liner in black. So yeah, I, I really can't tell if this is focusing. I'm so sorry. Um, I already tested this out. It looks like, I dropped the, dropped the cap. Looks like this. Still can't tell if it's focusing. Um, and it applies very well. Super nice. All right, I guess I'm gonna try this. I'm not good at eyeliner, as we probably all know at this point. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna look down here and we'll see how this goes. Is it just me or is this like watered down so it's not like super black? Like, it applies very well, and I'm surprised I got it that good. But I feel like it's just, it's kind of watery. It's not as black as other eyeliners that I've tried. The only thing that kind of sucks, I'm going to try to point it out, is that it's just like, it's just really just not focusing the entire time. Um, it just, it's kind of like, not super black. I just, mmm, I don't know. Like, it comes out very black, and it's, like, super easy to use. Like, seriously, it just comes right on. Off. Um, I'm gonna try the other eye, and I'll come back and see how it looks. Okay. 
Okay, okay. So, definitely not even. Not the greatest uh, eyeliner. But it honestly is pretty beginner friendly because it's super easy to use. Um, and we're gonna move on to the next product. Um, so this comes in a little bag thing like this. It says Mayel. Mayel with the little dot dot on the E. This is Enchanted Eyeshadow Collection Single. So I guess it comes in a collection, but this is, this is a single one. It says this is a deluxe sample. Um, okay, so this only, um, you can only get this size through Ipsy. I think that's what it means. Um, and that's also the same thing with this mask. So this is romantic, playful, perfect from sun up to sundown. This gorgeous, shimmery topaz eyeshadow. It's called Smoke Topaz. Will instantly warm up your makeup looks. Whether you use a finger or brush, it blends out and builds up easily. Bonus, it's derm tested, cruelty free, and paraben free. All right. So it says blend all over lids or use a damp angled eyeliner brush to smudge along your lash line. So I already did um, eyeliner, so I'm not going to do that. But it looks like this. As you can see, I already tested it out. It's actually not super great, but it's not super terrible at the same time. Like, it could be better, but I'm going to try it. Um, I don't know how I want to put this on because it's probably not going to be the cutest look. So I'm just going to go right into this, and I think... Ugh, I don't want to do this. Maybe just smoke it down here for right now. It is like a, a glittery eyeshadow but it's not super reflective it's actually really cool really pretty um i'm honestly not the biggest fan of like single eyeshadows unless they like really are super nice because i don't like carrying those along with my other eyeshadow palettes as you guys probably relate to that um i used to always carry in like ninth grade when i used to wear um like a sparkly white eyeshadow on my brow bone and then my inner corner highlight. It was like this elf, like white um, eyeshadow in like this kind of thing, just like the packaging. Um, and I used to carry that around with me because that looked so cool, having like pop of color or pop of white, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's not really sure how much I would use this. I am going to try to blend it on my eyelids just to see how it works. I'm taking this elf professional eyeshadow brush. Can I dip it in and see? Oof, that is not cute with this eyeliner. Huh. I'm like scared to, you know, I'm gonna get a different eyeshadow because I wanna blend this out. All right, so I'm gonna take the e.l.f. bite-sized eyeshadow palette because the first thing that popped right in front of me. I know it's probably not gonna be the best colors to use with this, but we're gonna go for it. I'm just gonna create a tiny little makeup look, something in my crease. Whew, this is definitely not the right color to mix this with. Okay, but good thing is that the eyeliner is not smudging, which is super nice. So I'm just gonna like kind of pack this onto the lid. I'm tempted to wonder how it's gonna look if I just put my finger in it and blended it. But I think that's for another day. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna do a quick blend that all together. Not terrible. Okay, not terrible. I actually kind of like it. It's pretty easy to blend. Just I'm not a fan of the color, but it does look pretty nice. Alright. Next. is um, The next two things are face stuff. So I'm not into like blush or um, highlight, but I do like bronzer and I've been looking for a really nice bronzer to use because the ones that I have are just they're too sparkly for me or whatever. Um, so I was super excited to be able to choose this product um, that I got. It's an Ipsy exclusive from the company Pacifica. Um, it says it's a Pacifica Desert Sunset Matte Blush and Bronze Duo. 
Um, it says, want to blush up and glow with a single product. This buildable blush and bronzer duo has got you covered. The bronzer has a matte finish. That's super nice for me. Which makes it good for glowing sans shine. Oh, without shine. <laughs> um, especially if your skin is on the oily side. Thank you. The blush will leave you with a natural looking rosy glow. Hmm. Um, set, sweep this bronzer over your lids to give them depth and dimension. I should have used this. <laughs> oh, bro. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to open this up. I literally was struggling so much. Um, I had to get Drew to open this thing for me when it first came in. Because <laughs> this thing is so tight. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys could see, but on that eyeshadow, um, it has a full-on, like, tiny mirror in the back. Obviously, like, not the best mirror because it has words on it, but it's super cute. And that's actually super nice. Um, oh my god, can this thing open? Got it, got it, got it, got it. It's all good. Um, so I already opened this up. And what's super cool about this one also is that it has a huge mirror. You can see my whole setup with everything. Um, huge mirror, which is super nice. Um, and it looks like this, and I love the whole aztec -y? Like a bunch of um, geometric stuff. Super pretty. I already tested out the bronzer and the blush. I'm kind of scared of the bronze. It's a little bit too orangey for my skin tone. We're going to go for it. Um, but first, because it's bothering me so much, I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows and be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so I just put on some powder because I was looking a little oily because I don't have concealer like anywhere else except for right here. Um, and I wasn't looking too great. Um, so I put on some mascara. I did my eyebrows. It's really hard to do eyebrows when you already have eyebrow gel on. That's difficult. So we're gonna try this palette out now that I've got like a fresh face and I don't really know what. <sighs> brush to use because I'm really bad at this kind of stuff um I'm gonna go for this one because I just picked it up again from my house and I went home and I was like why not and just bring it because it's actually like a pretty bendy brush and I feel like it'd be super nice to blend right here so I'm just gonna dip that's a lot of bronzer okay this might be a whole patch of bronze but we're gonna see how it works it's just me or can anybody else not see that at all Yeah, I see it. It's actually not terrible. It's just because I don't have the best lighting right now that I really can't tell how well this is blended. Also, blend the mask knee. Um, I definitely think it's a little orange for me, but I might be able to work with it. Also, what is happening to my voice? I've actually don't think I've ever used like a matte bronzer, and wow, that actually is quite pigmented. Okay. Let's see how much worse I can make this look. So we're gonna take this flat brush. I've seen some people use flat brushes to put on blush. I don't know why, I don't know if it does anything. But we're gonna have to put on some blush on my already red cheeks that you can't really even tell right now. But, so we're just gonna do this. Oh, yikes, I'm not a fan of blush, not a fan of blush. It's a really pretty color, but it's just not my style. Kind of just like tapping it in, hoping for the best. Pretty sure you're supposed to put on the highlight first. But, oh god. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen myself look like this. Actually, no. I remember being in a play in fifth grade and I had to put blush on. That was when I actually hated makeup. Um, which is kind of crazy and my mom used her like sample lick or her sample lips li lipstick things like those little things you get from like avon or whatever and she used those and just tapped them on her face for blush and i thought i looked ridiculous with it on probably did um so this is that palette it's actually not terrible kind of not super upset with the blush which is confusing me but hey and I think the last thing in the box is a highlighter, which I'm kind of scared about because I never wear highlighter, ever, because I already have oily skin. So it's the Radiant Glow Highlighter. Ipsy Beauty Radiant Glow Highlighter in Prosecco. Okay, your skin's about to be lit. Great. 
This finely nailed, super blendable apricot peach highlighter, okay, instantly pops your features for overall radiance, plus it's infused with rose, rose hip seed oil and vitamin E to nourish your skin and protect from environmental stressors every time you apply. Okay, so open this. Some weird packaging. Oh, this is cute. Open that. Why not open this? I first of all can tell this is not my shade. Because I do one of these. Definitely for not for my skin tone, and no, <laughs> I just would never use it um, on my actual face. But I will use it on my brow bone and inner corner highlight because why the heck not? I'm just gonna do I don't know if you can see that, but dang, yeah, I would not be able to rock that on my cheeks for sure. I'm very impressed right now. This is really cool. I like it. Still don't exactly think it's my shade, but if I wanted to like pop out a random different colored highlight, that'd be super nice. And I would have it. I think I'm gonna hang on to this because it's actually super nice to do like inner corner highlights. Um, so yeah, I actually really like it. And it kind of is funny because I was just talking about how I like having an inner corner highlight as a little like baby so I can carry it around with me. Hmm. All right. So that is everything on my face. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get right into telling you guys how much these cost. Felt tip eyeliner pencil in black that I use right here. Just drop that. Um, and it's full size is nine dollars. Hey, nine dollars. Um, plus the highlighter I just put on. This is a deluxe sample version of it, but the actual um full size version is fourteen dollars. So I'm gonna add that in. And then the mask is also sample size, but the full size version is twenty nine ninety nine. Hmm. Um. And then the matte blush and bronzer set is also um like two samples I think put into like a little duo just for Ipsy as I said. Um. But the full size version is eighteen dollars. And then the eyeshadow in smoked topaz is also. Is like a smaller version of I think an actual palette like one just one simple color and that palette or whatever full-size version of this product is $29 so <laughs> that's actually kind of funny um, the whole total comes to $99.99 so yeah this is actually a pretty good bag I don't think I really disliked anything. Thank you for watching. This is Sydney from Just Cause. I will see you guys later. Um, hopefully we'll get around to making a room tour because we've made a lot of changes to this whole area we're living in right now. So have a great day. Stay safe and healthy, everybody. And yeah.